Hello everybody! How are you all doing? Managed to take 10 minutes to break away for a quick run on the bike. It's a really quick one. I'm going to head up to Kit Hill. Sunset almost about four o'clock. I'm just going to see if I can get a couple of nice pictures from the top. Uh, it is quite hazy though, so we'll just see how that goes. But, uh, it's worth a run up. It's not very far, it's only it's about two or three miles. I've not gotten out on this bike as much as I had hoped over the last day or two. I'm still in Cornwall. Um, but I am now here with the family, so that was equally as good. We managed to get down to St Ives yesterday, and that is just a gorgeous bit of the world. Absolutely love it. And this is it. I've missed the first one. Seen lots of bikes out today and I've been exceptionally jealous of a lot of them. But it's been great to have a proper long weekend off. Oh man, will you just look at it? Beautiful evening. It's 13 degrees. 13 degrees. So we're heading back up to the island tomorrow. <laughs> nearly overshot it. The whole point of the journey is to go up Kit Hill and then nearly went past Kit Hill. I've been here once before though, one time only, so yeah, sorry about that, giving the benefit of the doubt. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, heading back to the island tomorrow, heading, heading, heading back to the island tomorrow, gonna take the very scenic route and this time I'm going to show you all the stuff I was meant to show you on the way down. Uh, the main one being the route across Dartmoor. Uh, I was up there today and it was gorgeous, absolutely stunning. Uh, lots of bikes out on there. These speed bumps, you don't really see them until the last minute. But yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll take a run back, sort of east, head over Dartmoor, and then we'll take that coastal run back over to the island through uh, sort of Dorchester Way and then on to Portsmouth. Uh, so I'll video most of that. We've got a few things to chat about, but yeah, should be a nice run. Just hope the weather holds right. I'm sure, you can get up quite high here. There's a car park way up there, at the top of Kit Hill. I think it's like an old mining shaft, furnacey thing, which now has a lot of mobile phone antenna strapped to it, as you do. But uh, still kind of cool. worth just a quick trip up to get some pictures and to get a literally 10 minutes on the bike. 10 minutes is better than no minutes. Right, so there's a car park there but I don't really see much. Nothing. It is literally that car park. I'll tell you what, I'm going to put it here and we'll take some pictures. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Tell you what, I'll keep my helmet on. We shall dismount phone. We'll go climb up there. I'll take you guys with me. It's just such a shame it's so hazy. It really is. There's the FJR. Oh, she's a beauty. Right, hang on. Oh. Oh, this is looking pretty tasty. There we go. Trick point. On a clear day, you can see for absolute miles up here. Right, I'll come back to you guys in a second after I've taken some pictures. Correct. 
two over there. <laughs> I think I got some cool pictures. We'll see. Um, so I'm gonna zip back down the hill and get back to uh, back to the house. Oh, you know you get an old one. Every time you get on a bike, you make that oh noise. It's not right. Right. Let us brave the elements and descend this great mountain. Speed bump! Said no one on Everest ever. It's getting less hazy as we speak. Right. I'm stopping again for a quick picture. Right, actually, now we shall descend this great mountain. Steady off the gravel. It is pretty, and there's a lot of it. So yeah, it's been a lovely day. I wish I'd gotten more out on the bike. Uh, yes, so I was hoping to get up this morning, but I felt a bit rubbish, and uh, yeah, just, just didn't, basically. Um, but we're leaving early tomorrow, I've got a full day's ride, so I better make sure I charge you up, and this guy. Spare batteries to go. I've got spare fuses, in case I blow another one. Uh, so if you haven't watched my previous video, you may not know, but on the way down, nothing was charging. I uh, turned out my 12 volt socket, which is hidden in that glove box down there, blew its fuse. The socket's in there. On the FJR, the fuse box is under a panel just down there. It's quite difficult to get to. It's a bit of faff taking out various Allen head bolts and panels and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so anyway, it was only just a fuse that blew. Uh, you can't see this on the camera, but I can see a Merlin helicopter going right to left, right over there. Very cool. What a lovely evening. Anyway, with that said, I hope you guys all have a lovely evening. And uh, I'm going to sign off now. Going out for dinner tonight. Whoop whoop a beer or two, and then heading back home tomorrow. So you guys take care. Uh, if you like the video, please click like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to uh, get prior warning of up and coming content. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Cheerio, bye.